Welcome to another episode of your DigiHustle News. Today, we're going to talk about Tezos's new esports partnership, as well as Energy Web's new partnership in Uruguay. And we're also going to be discussing Crypto.com becoming a gold member for Singapore's blockchain innovation program. We also will go over some other major news stories in the space, starting with PayPal, as well as JP Morgan and all the noise that they're making this week. And then, of course, we have to talk about China because their digital yuan is literally right around the corner, guys. But first, we are going to take a look in the markets, guys, because we've had some very interesting activity this morning. Be sure to stick around for this entire episode, not only for the value, but Towards the end, I have a very special offer from Unstoppable Domains that I want to share with you. Now, let's jump into these charts, guys. Bitcoin is currently starting the week at around $40,000. The weekly chart indicates that our downside prediction is unfortunately coming into play. However, I am still very positive because from a technical perspective, we want contact with that lower band in order to give us the momentum for a strong push to the upside. Again, if we take a look at the weekly chart, we can see that we are moving lockstep with price action from January. This has our Elite Eight looking mighty appetizing, guys, I must say. Now, a lot of our assets are on discount, but the one that we're going to pay attention to right here in the moment is Digibyte, guys. A hefty 6% discount for this birthday blockchain. If you didn't know, guys, 10 years ago, today, the first ever Digibyte block was mined. And the rest, as they say, is history, guys. Energy Web was slightly in the green at uh, this morning, but with that recent pullback that Bitcoin just did, it has brought it down into the red. Still, very good discount, guys. Perfect time to buy, not financial advice. Now, another metric that I want to start looking at more often, guys, is Lunar Crush. They are going to give us some social metrics, okay? I have come to find that the information provided by Lunar Crush is a great indicator of individual sentiment for a specific project. The column that we will focus on is social engagement, guys. The more social activity around an asset, the more potential for some positive or negative price movement. Now, obviously, Bitcoin and Ethereum and Doge are the most common at the moment. But one asset that has been climbing this list is Tezos, with nearly 60 million accounts talking about Tezos in the last few hours. Largely in part due to this. Courtesy of Tezos Baking Sheep, news came out over the weekend of Tezos working with the French esports team Vitality. The details of this deal include a three year arrangement that will bring esports fans closer to the Tezos blockchain through the form of education and other initiatives. Now, both parties, they're keeping very quiet about this deal. But I can imagine that this is going to look a lot like what we see in the form of Algorand and the Drone Racing League. Whatever the future holds, I know this will be a good year for Tezos, especially with names like JP Morgan mentioning them as a definite Ethereum competitor. Which brings us to our next story. JP Morgan has been very vocal this week. Courtesy of CBJ.biz, we can see that JP Morgan agrees with our sentiment of 2022 being the year of interoperability, a notion that is backed up by their successful testing of their JPM coin with the Central Bank of Baran. The JPM coin essentially will be used as a settlement layer for US dollars held by JP Morgan customers. Now, another major entity that's looking to enhance the payment experience, and you've probably heard this story already, but PayPal over the weekend, it was revealed that they are looking into the development of a stable coin. 
this stable coin would serve as the in-platform currency for PayPal users. Of course, this is contingent upon the course of the regulatory environment here in the U.S. clearing a path. But with their history of lobbying in the U.S. government, I'm pretty sure those channels will be open. Now, this path must get clearer sooner than later, as other entities in the world are already leading the race in the adoption of the digital dollar. In China, the narrative is being established for the digital yuan as being a direct competitor to the U.S. dollar. The Olympics are right around the corner, guys, and the main currency that will be used will be the digital yuan. This is ensured by the addition of the digital yuan to the WeChat messaging system, the largest social platform in the country. Now, of course, guys, we already know where this is headed. The issuance, the ushering in of this digital yuan at the time that it was ushered in during the year and the phase that we are in when it comes to the payments transition. This does not surprise me at all, guys. Now, before we get into the last two stories, I want to take a second and share this very special offer with you, courtesy of Unstoppable Domains. Now, we have been talking a lot about digital identity being a very popular theme in the space this year. With digital identities also comes digital domains. That's what Unstoppable offers. With Unstoppable Domains, you can secure a unique domain address that is verified on the blockchain. You can use this domain to send and receive crypto and also use it as an entry to numerous Web3 applications that are compatible with unstoppable domains. Now, right now, they are offering $10 off your first domain purchase, guys. You will receive a $10 credit when you make your first purchase after you use the link in the description. Having a domain in the Web3 world that we are entering in is a very powerful tool. That's why I had to share this with you guys. Be sure to pick yours up today. Now, let's get into the rest of the news. Starting with Energy Web Token, guys. This is a big story, but we already know what the aim is. Uruguay's grid operator and the Ministry of Industry, Energy and Mining have developed a renewable energy certification system that will leverage the Energy Web decentralized system. The new program will see companies will allow companies to retrieve certificates detailing the origin and source of renewable energies. These services will be available through June of 2022 meaning that over the next six months, we will see a lot of onboarding for this new service. This will position Uruguay as a global leader in the energy transition. Additionally, this will create new value streams for companies developing products and services for renewables in the surrounding regions. Something that is specifically detailed in XPDI's prospectus that we went over in the last Energy Web video. This is the exact type of thing that BlackRock is looking for. Really interested in what Energy Web is going to do this year, guys. Now, another asset that you know we will be watching all year, guys, is Crypto.com, especially since they were just named a gold member for the Singapore Blockchain Innovation Program. As a member, they will be added as a resource for companies in Singapore looking to expand their blockchain ambitions. The SPIP, or the SBIP, excuse me, will do this by engaging over 70 companies by the year's end to launch blockchain projects and pioneer innovative business solutions. Now, what's interesting here is their specific focus. Listed in the article, they mention how they specific how they have specific interest in scalability and our best friend of this year, oper interoperability. However, when you go over to their website, you'll see they forgot to mention something, guys. SPIP, SBIP 
man, it's going to take me a second to get that down. But they also have a very strong interest, guys, in something that we know is going to be the hottest thing next to interoperability. Of course, we can see here we have the Monetary Authority of Singapore as one of their biggest collaborators. The Monetary Authority of Singapore is truly pushing this digital payments um, agenda renaissance coming from that side of the world. But something else, guys, that they are very, very focused on. A framework for decentralized identity management, guys. This new alliance is going to prepare crypto.com for some major, major adoption in 2022, guys. As it stands right now, though, Kronos currently sits ninth amongst all DeFi protocols with total value locked at $1.78 billion. This is definitely setting up to be a good year for crypto.com. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this information with friends and family. If you're new to crypto, I have links to the most notable exchanges in the description using the links below supports the channel and comes with special bonuses for members of our network for more information on the new economy check out the playlist related to this episode on the right and our most recent episode on the left as always have a great day have a prosperous day most importantly we making this money i'll see y'all in the next one